Okay, it is Monday, March 27th. I am back at Camp Freedom 2, about to head off back into the woods. Uh, to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, after yesterday's <laughs> getting lost in the woods, alone and in the woods uh, episode. Um, I did come back though with paint this time. I had thought of marking the trail with um, rope and line and, and whatnot, but decided I think paint's the best way to go. And I got this white, you know, ideally I would have got a bright colored paint, but I didn't want to pay a lot of money. And Walmart sells these um, these cheapy paints for like 99 cents. So this is what we're going to use to mark it. I'm not going to mark the immediate area here up front. Watch for snakes here. With the branches and crap, but um, we are going to attempt to um, figure out how to get through here. I guess we go through the center. It's actually evening. It's um, like 5:30 in the evening, and it's going to get dark soon. So I definitely don't want to be in here too long. Look how scary this stuff is. You try to come through here. I think that um, we are okay. Jeez, I still can't remember how to get the heck back to um, the trail I made. That's why we definitely need to mark it. I made a trail yesterday. And I can't figure out how to get to it today. Isn't that crazy? So easy to get lost and and um then you're screwed. I think I'm gonna paint I'm gonna paint these trees a little bit on this side just to in case you don't see the car or anything, so you can see that you are near the camp. So let me do that. Well, I tried painting the tree a little bit with the white spot there to let me know that this is the way out. Even though you can see the, the vehicle out there. Well, you can't see the vehicle, but you can see the hut and stuff. But um, I'm hoping that um, the paint will be visible because it's looking like it's going to be not so visible. Let me try to find out how to get back in. I'm going to have to put the camera down because... Um, I can't carry the spray paint and the um, marker, I mean the paint and the machete here. Well, you know what happens. Hopefully I don't get lost. Alright, one can of paint later. I think I've marked my way in um, to these little white paint spots here. I put on various branches and some leaves. Although I'm not sure where to go next. <laughs> Well, we are at the location, so I managed to luckily find it again. Obviously, I'm going to have to clean all this up. I need a rake or something. But we're going to have to try to get to open ground around here, and we're going to set this as the, the, the building area for our yurt. Um, I'll be taking that can back out with me. But we've got all these branches here. I'm not going to do anything tonight because it is getting dark, and I want to make dinner before I head out. But we are kind of pretty deep in. Um, one of the viewers mentioned that Google updated their Google Maps in 2017. So I'm going to attempt to, when I get Wi-Fi access, um, Google this area here and use that as a basis for my exploration. Um, so stay tuned, everybody. Hopefully over the next couple days or weeks, we're going to start to see something that looks somewhat like a yurt popping up over here. <laughs> 